Hi everyone. Now you might have been lucky enough to have seen a shooting star during your life, but they're not actually real stars. You see the piece of debris like rock and dust that fall into the Earth's atmosphere from space, and as they do they heat up and catch on fire, which is why they appear so bright as they go across the night sky. And what we call these is we call these meteors. Now you might have been lucky enough to have seen a meteor shower during your life. This is when tens or hundreds of these can go across the night sky every single hour. So you see a massive shower of these bright objects. You might have heard of famous ones such as the Perseid or the Leonid meteor showers. But what are meteor showers? What causes them and why do they occur so regularly throughout the year? So meteors and meteor showers are lots of small pieces of rock and ice and debris that fall from space into the Earth's atmosphere. But where did this piece of debris come from originally? Well, orbiting around the sun in our solar system are large collections of rock, ice and dust. They can be really small, they can be really, really large. And we call these things comets. Now, as the comets get very close to the sun, the sun's energy begins to break apart these comets into smaller and smaller pieces. And these get left behind. And this is what comets' tails are. If you've seen a comet tail before, the bright streak behind a comet, it's all these pieces of ice and rock and dust that are left behind as the comet's broken apart. And these small pieces of debris we call meteoroids. Now these tails of debris from the comet remain in space after the comet's moved along. Now what happens is, if the path of the comet goes across the path of the Earth as it goes around the Sun, the Earth will travel through the tail of the comet. Now as this happens, as the Earth passes into this tail, all these pieces of rock and debris fall into the Earth's atmosphere. Now, because the Earth's atmosphere is much denser than space, as the pieces of rock fall into the atmosphere, which is much denser, they begin to heat up as there's much more friction as they hit all the air particles. And this is what heats them up and makes them appear so bright in the night sky. So sometimes these small pieces of debris manage to survive the searing hot temperatures as they fall through the Earth's atmosphere, and they manage to hit the surface of the Earth. And when they do, we call them meteorites. So, so far we've had meteors, meteoroids, and meteorites. But what's the difference between them? Well, when these small pieces of debris in space, they're called meteoroids. When they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they're called meteors. And when they manage to hit the Earth, we call them meteorites. They're the exact same thing, the naming just depends where they are. So now we know what a meteor shower is, where and when can we see them? Well, there's hundreds that occur throughout the year and each one lasts for a different length of time, has a different number of meteors you can see per hour, and it's a different brightness. Now some of the more famous ones you can see are the Quadrantids, the Perseids, and the Geminids. The Perseids peak around mid-August, the Quadrantids in early January, and the Geminids in mid-December. An observer can see 100 meteors an hour from these showers, making them really good meteor showers to observe. But there are loads of other meteor showers you can see throughout the year. So you can check out this handy calendar or you can search the internet for a full schedule. So you might notice by now that meteor showers all have strange names and they all end in the letters IDS. But how are meteor showers named? Well, they're named after the nearest star or star constellation from where they originate in the sky. So for example, the Leonids originate near the star constellation Leo. What happens we add the letters IDS onto the end of it so we know it's the name of a meteor shower. So now you know all about meteor showers that happen down here on Earth. But did you know that meteor showers also happen on other planets and moons throughout the universe? For example, all the craters on the moon were created by meteors that smashed into its surface over the previous few billion years. Because there's no atmosphere on the moon, the craters never get worn away. You might also have heard of this comet 1994 Shoemaker-Levy. This was a comet that broke apart and fell into Jupiter's atmosphere. And we could see it down here on Earth with lots of bright spots that fell into Jupiter's atmosphere. And since then we've seen loads and loads of comets and meteors that have collided with other planets and moons in our solar system. So there we have it. Meteors and meteor showers aren't actually real stars. They're pieces of rock and dust that fall into the Earth's atmosphere and heat up, which create the beautiful, wonderful light shows that we see during meteor showers. Thank you very much for watching. You can check me out on Twitter at UCashinUp. Please like the video. You can subscribe to my channel, which I really appreciate. Uh, you can also leave comments and feedback and questions, and I always try and get back to you. But otherwise, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all soon. Thank you.